everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Irina and this is my channel on language and history, Germanic languages, Viking Age. Um, if you're interested in any of these topics, as usual, please like and subscribe and help my channel grow. Uh, for today, I have a topic regarding Germanic languages compared um, and this time means of transportation. Um, 10 means of transportation, um, which we will be discussing from, uh, yeah, also an etymological point of view. And I will try to compare uh, several languages as I previously did um, with terms regarding nature, for example, um, the verb to be. Uh, there are several videos of the sort. You can find them easily in my uh, playlist on YouTube. Um, okay, so let's start with... Um, yeah, sorry if, I, if I'm looking very oddly at the camera. I'm, I'm still not used to doing this for some reason, although this is my video number 44. Yeah, maybe when I hit 100, I will get used to it. Um, so I will start with the, yeah, the most common one, which is the word car. So in English, we say car, which is a borrowing from, uh, uh, from French, from Old French, uh, car. And in its turn, this comes from the Latin, uh, vulgar Latin cara, which is just a chariot, um, more specifically a war chariot. Um, then again, it was um, in its turn borrowed from a Celtic word. Um, and as evidence, um, well, if, if, if you compare um, Old Irish Welsh words, you will find uh, the same uh, root. Um, and speaking of roots, the Indo-European root would be um, a verb meaning to run. Um, and related words um, are, for example, um, carriage or cargo, uh, charge, even career uh, or currency. Okay, so um, of course we have the term automobile. Um, many languages have just... Um, yeah, uh, adopted this term from autos, it, yeah, something going automatically, um, and mobilis, um, so something uh, movable, quite easy. Um, yeah, of course you have in German das auto, and um, um, other Germanic languages took the second part of the word, actually, yeah, so you have, for example, in Swedish, you have bil, yeah, so the last part of the word, uh, same in Icelandic, bit. Okay, um, Next term is the bus, um, a very cute word, um, meaning public street carriage, beginning with, um, yeah, I think around the, um, uh, the middle of the 19th century, so 1830, 1840 or something like that. Um, perhaps it is not the most obvious um, of them all, but it actually comes from a Latin word as well. Um, omnibus, yeah, it comes from um, the dative plural uh, form of the word, so is something for all people, if you want to translate it. So I, I find it very compelling, you know, the, the actual meaning of the word. Yeah, omnibus, so omnibus, yeah, in Latin, something um, everyone can use. Um, number three, we have the train. Again, an old French word, um, traîner. Um, this is also a borrowing from Latin. Uh, it will be uh, tragere or tragere. Um, and um, uh, it was, um, you know, first used um, in the sense of a progression or a series. And of course, after um, the railway started to get um, uh, really fashionable. Uh, they also used it in the sense of uh, railway, so about yeah, 1820, 1830. Uh, uh, um, in Dutch we also have this term, the train, it's the same word. Um, on the other hand, interestingly, um, in German we have Zug, in uh, the Scandinavian languages we have Torg, um, in, um, uh, yeah, so in Old Germanic, this would have been the word uh, Tugis, which comes from an old root meaning to pull or to lead. And it's actually very logical, yeah, because what is a train? It's something that, uh, that pulls with it other, um, other carts. Um, and um, English also has a cognate word for, for this, so for Tug and for Zug. Uh, it's the word Tug. Yeah, so tug with the sense of uh, drag, you know. 
Um, and uh, interestingly, the same root is also the source of many words such as to conduct, to conduce, even the word education, yeah, because it's, yeah, you lead somebody on the rightful path, so you educate them, yeah. Um, of course, um, yeah, you can also um, translate the word into um, Icelandic, although Iceland does not have any, uh, any train system yet. There have been some projects, but nothing has uh, come about so far, but yeah, who knows uh, in the future. Um, the word is Jaurnbrautarlest. Jaurnbrautarlest. Um, yeah, so um, this is, so the last part of the word lest is just a borrowing from Middle Low German, um, and um, uh, it uh, carries the sense of um, um, holding out uh, or, you know, carrying out. Um, think of uh, the verb leisten in German, um, which, um, you know, um, has basically this exact same uh, sense, you know, so to, to perform something, to carry out something. Um, yeah, like a train would carry, drag its wagons um, up to the end, up to the destination. All right, um, the next word, so we're going to stay a little bit on, um, on the railway with the tram. Yeah, so the tram, initial meaning a beam or shaft of a barrow, um, it, it was used um, at the beginning uh, in the sense of iron trucks in coal mines, um, perhaps some borrowing from Flemish, um, and in the sense of a streetcar, again, going back to the age of industrialization, uh, to 1880, I think, almost. Um, all right, in uh, other Germanic languages, we also have interesting terms. Um, so in German, we have the Straßenbahn, which is a compound word. Straße, ja, the street. Bahn is a very interesting word in um, uh, Germanic. Um, so it's, um, as a noun, it, it means a clearing, um, also in the sense of a battlefield, um, you know, because as a verb, it actually means to kill, yeah, so um, to murder. And where do you do that? Where do you fight in order to kill? On a clearing, yeah. So in Swedish, for example, we have um, um, something similar, um, sporvan. Um, so sporvan is a little different, so we don't have the street. Um, we have spor, which, um, um, you know, we also find in Old Norse, uh, and it comes from, uh, from an old Germanic uh, word, spora, which um, would mean something like to, to kick and also to, uh, to trample, so basically to leave some kind of track. Yeah, so in German, for example, we have spur, yeah, which is a, a, a track, a, a footprint. Um, okay, and the other word, uh, van, um, the word to the, the right, which in Germanic language is actually is the, the basic word, yeah, the Grundwort. Um, this is the word wagon in English, yeah, wagen in, um, uh, in German, and uh, it's also from an old uh, Germanic word, wagnas, um, which is yeah, a verb meaning to, um, it comes from a verb meaning to, um, to move something around, uh, to transport. Um, if we trace it back to the Proto-Indo-European route, we will find um, um, related descendants such as, that there are very many actually, it's a voyage, uh, vector, way, uh, viaduct, um, and uh, vehicle, yeah, vehicle. Um, all right, so speaking of vehicle, um, this is also an interesting term. Of course, in English, it comes from the Latin uh, uh, vehiculum. Um, but um, in German, for example, we have um, um, Fahrzeug, also an interesting word, um, because it comes from, um, it also comes from a root meaning to, to, to lead, uh, to, um, uh, to drag. Um, and if we look at the word Zeug, um, this is, yeah, um, in its specific sense, so it means some device used for uh, pulling. Yeah, no, now it also has a more general sense, like um, uh, a thing, yeah, but, yeah, some, some kind of tool, if you want. Um, 
you can compare it with tug again from English, yeah, to drag, to pull, um, and um, vertauch, yeah, you have um, um, similar terms in, um, uh, in Dutch, for example. Uh, then again, other languages such as Swedish uh, use the word for doen, um, which has a pretty similar logic behind it. So again, we have um, um, yeah, to, to travel, um, and then we have doen, uh, uh, which uh, has to do with the word for uh, feet, yeah, do it, like a means to do something, a means to uh, transport something somewhere. So pretty, it makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, and uh, the same logic can be encountered in um, uh, Danish, for example, kyrretoi, um, or uh, in Norwegian, if you pronounce it, kyrretoi. Um, and if, of course, if you can also translate it into Icelandic, um, farataiki. Uh, yeah. Okay, so um, let's move to the subway. Um, yeah, it's, I don't think it needs a lot of explanation, you know, why they chose this, uh, uh, this term. Um, fun fact, it initially meant um, just an underground passage, so um, either for passers-by or for pipes. Um, and then it got to mean uh, what it means today. Um, speaking of which, you can also use the term metro, um, comes from um, metropolitan, and I also think they took it from, from French, metropolitan, um, le chemin metropolitan, or something like that. It was a, a society, subway society. Um, all right, in other Germanic languages, we have compound words, of course, we have in German uh, die U-Bahn, uh, Untergrundbahn, um, and the same word you can find, for example, in Danish, it's a Untergrundsbene, uh, or in a slightly different form, Tunnelbana in Swedish, or Tierbane in uh, Norwegian. Uh, uh, again, Icelandic is a pretty inventive language, you can also uh, make up a word for, for it, although you don't have such a means of transportation. Nedanjarðarlest. Um, Nedanjarðarlest. So again, it's a uh, it's a, a, a train that goes underground. Yeah. So the word, the same word, uh, lest used for uh, for train for something that carries you around. Okay. Uh, let's move now to my personal favorite means of transportation, which is the bicycle. Yeah. Bicycle, um, it's a pretty easy word, yeah, it uh, has a um, um, foreign uh, root in the Greek kuklos, it's just a cycle, so something uh, turning back to the same point with reference obviously to the um, uh, wheels, um, and you can find it in uh, yeah, different pronunciations, sykel for example, sykel, um, yeah, Swedish, Danish, and um, uh, interestingly in Dutch we have the word fiets, um, which I'm not sure about this, but I think it come. It does uh, Dutch does have a verb feature, which is to move fast. So if if I have any Dutch speakers watching this, please confirm or infirm this, or correct me. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it might also have to do with the um, uh, the French word uh, velocipede. Uh, maybe it was a um, alteration of this term at some point. Um, cute term in Icelandic for this, um, hjol, yeah, so this is just a wheel, yeah, so um, wheel, this term, simply used as a bicycle, we also have in, um, in German, rad, fahrrad, um, interestingly it comes from a Proto-Indo-European root meaning to, uh, to roll, yeah, um, and then again, you can also make compound words such as uh, motorcycle, obviously, so you just put the, the, uh, the Latin word motor, uh, the mover, uh, in front of it. And um, in Swedish and German, because they uh, borrow it from, borrowed it from, uh, from there, uh, moped, that's um, um, a motorized um, uh, pedal, yeah, so pedaler, ped comes from pedaler pedals. Okay, um, let's uh, move a bit into the air, um, where we have airplane, yes, the airplane, um, um, English, uh, again, uh, resorted to Latin, uh, planus, yeah, it's an adjective that means flat, so something floating flat uh, in the air. Um, other Germanic languages just use compound words from the verb to fly, flugis, 
um, such as flugzeug um, or flu or flugplan or uh, fliegtauch. And in Icelandic, it's uh, flugvel, flugvel, uh, cognate with the wheel, so the wheel which is flying. Um, interestingly, the same root um, gave um, descendants such as flow, fleet, uh, float, flood. Yeah, so a lot of words uh, are related to this uh, uh, this uh, fly verb. Um, Okay, and then I have uh, two terms from uh, the area of water. Um, of course, ship. Um, ship we find in um, yeah pretty much the same form with slight differences. For example, ship in Swedish or skip in Danish or skip in Dutch or schiff in German, and it's a proto-Germanic word um, skipper. It um, I think it may have come from an older word meaning to um, uh, to cut might also have to have to do something with shift or similar words um, and um, yeah perhaps the reference was to the fact that um, ships and boats uh, were initially built by um, you know um, cutting a tree and just um, uh, hollowing it uh, so it might have to do with that uh, because the word boat as well, uh, so baitas um, in um, uh, in Old Germanic um, is also something uh, from from an older root meaning to to split. Yeah, so it's, it has relatives uh, in the words uh, bit or bite, for example. Yeah, so um, in other languages, uh, bautur. Yeah, in Icelandic, uh, boat. Um, in um, Scandinavian or das Boot um, in German, yeah, so it, it might also refer to the exact same thing, to this um, uh, notion of uh, hollowing a tree and building a boat or um, to um, um, split planking or something like that. All right, um, bonus for this video is the word ferry, yeah, um, ferry, uh, again, it comes from an older verb. Uh, farian is uh, also to uh, to carry, and you can find it in different forms. Uh, feria in Swedish or feria in uh, Norwegian, fearboat in uh, in Dutch. Yeah, so that will be it. Um, if you have any remarks or if you want to add something, uh, maybe you know um, some words yourselves, or maybe you would like to. Um, yeah, contribute in some way or another to uh, this topic. I kindly invite you to leave me a comment. Um, thank you so much for watching these videos and I hope you enjoy them and you will watch some more. All the best and take care.